Hello, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, which is all about helping you create profitable content and systems for your business. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Trello to plan out the entire curriculum for your course. I really love Trello and I have created other videos on the channel about this tool, just because it's such an, a cool visual way to manage your projects. I've used this tool to do like weekly boards, task tracking, project management, social content idea brainstorms, and most recently planning out full on course curriculums. I've been using Trello for years and if you don't have a Trello account yet, then I've included a link in the description below in case you wanted to sign up for a free account. Otherwise, let me show you what it is that you're looking at here. So. In Trello, you have the ability to create different boards. A board, you can kind of just think of a board like a project. So this is a project that we created in Trello. So when you first log in, you might actually be seeing this view first with a bunch of boards, or if you haven't created any boards yet, you'll see something that says create new board. So you wanna click on that but like I said, I've already created this one, so I'm gonna click into this board. And what you wanna do when you create your board is you can name it by just clicking over here and naming it. Name it the name of your course. And you'll want to start creating what's called lists. Now each of these things, you'll see I'm kind of moving it around, clicking and moving it around. Each of these things are called lists, which will end up being your modules for your course or your sections. You can also easily move things around. So I've ordered it in this way, but let's say I want to put this lecture first. I can just click and drag on the card. Uh, same thing with the actual modules. As you saw in the beginning, I can click and drag this over if I want to move that over. If I don't think this is a good lecture, I can come in here, hit that pencil icon and hit archive and it'll get rid of that lecture. And I can also move it across modules as well if I don't think it fits well in that module. So let me just move this back here. So if I'm, I'm just gonna have a lot of lists here. So I'll show you where it says add another list. You might say module one. Maybe you don't have a name for it yet, so that's fine. Module one, add list, and then let's X out of this. Now, each lecture within that module will be called a card. So we're gonna add our first card and it'll show something like lecture one. And the cool thing is you can start to really hash out and include all of the content and track your progress with where you're at in creating each lecture, which is what we've done here. So going back, we have a first section of the course called Welcome Profitable YouTubers and a bunch of other lectures in this course. So we have a welcome lecture, we have your first action step. So I've named them these lecture titles here and with each lecture, I've included a status. So whether the video has been shot yet, whether it's been outlined or lecture uploaded. So, so you see this little pencil icon in the corner here? If I click on that, it gives me different options. So this, is, this goes into editing each card and starting to fill it up with content. So these little progress pieces that you see here are labels. So I'm gonna edit my labels and you can name these whatever you want. We just basically chose labels that were easy for us to identify where everything is at. So all of these in the beginning were marked as not started and MVP because it's the first rollout of our course. So we're, we're just naming it MVP. We have some lectures that we'll be rolling out later. And then as we started to go through each lecture and film it, I moved it from not started. So I basically unchecked the not started and indicated outline done. And when the outline was done, I would choose video shot. So you can see here, it adds whatever labels you select onto the card and I'm just gonna click out of it and now show you clicking into the card. For each of our lectures, I've basically included notes. So when you have a description here, you can click on the description and start typing in your notes for the lecture. So it might be an outline, bullet points, a full script even, which you can just paste in directly here. Maybe you have certain assets for each lecture, like an upload or a PDF. So you can include the attachments here directly 
you can download it from Google Drive or, or your computer. You can also assign the lecture to a specific member. Like if you're collaborating on the course with other people, you can invite them into this board and then just search for those members. Once you've inputted them, you've invited them. And if you want as well, you can also set dates to each of these lectures in terms of when you're gonna get that next step done, whether it's doing the outline or shooting the video. So these are all ways to manage your project in terms of getting this course done. You'll see here, we have a color on the top of the card. That basically means that this entire lecture is it's done, it's uploaded, it's already in the course and it's ready to go. Because sometimes we have the, the lecture is uploaded, but there's still little pieces like including a little bit of text underneath the video or uploading a certain asset. So that's why we wanted to have like an extra color that just says, this is good, this is all done. And you can change the color of this uh, cover, it's called the cover, by clicking on this right here and selecting any particular color that you like. So I'm going to click out of this right here. So you can really start to see the power in this. I have a module. This is a module that we haven't created yet, which is why there's absolutely no labels attached to this. But you can see here we have this module, create profitable content, where we have an overview lecture, we have an action step lecture, an explained lecture. I'm scrolling off to the side here so you can see what it looks like when it's assigned to someone. So I've assigned these to Jewel, my business partner, the other girl who's filming videos on this channel. And if you wanted to include any sort of notes for yourself besides the actual outline of the, the lecture, you can always include some comments here. So I've done that in the past. I'll actually show you an example. So let me close out of this, this one here. So I just included some notes. Oh, I have to rebrand the guy before actually uploading the assets. So it just really gives you a sense of where everything is at and helps you get this done. We've even, as you see here, started to plan out future content to put into the course that isn't part of the first rollout or the, the MVP, but it's actually a good way to continue adding to your curriculum even after you've planned it out because you might have your students providing you feedback. You might think of something extra that you wanted to add. So this way you can always see everything at a glance. And if you have set dates to all of your lectures, you can actually change the view from seeing it this way to a calendar view, if that's more helpful for you. Um, the calendar view, I don't believe is part of the free account, but it's included in what's called the power up, as you can see here. And power ups are little extra things that you can upgrade your account with to see your content in different views, to integrate with other platforms. So you can do so much with this, but I didn't want to go, this isn't an advanced lecture. I just basically what wanted you to see the possibility of using this tool as a way to plan out your course content. If you happen to be a YouTuber, by the way, and you're interested in this course, a profitable channel, which helps you grow your channel, make more money from it. I'll include a link to that in the description below. Otherwise hit the like button if you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.